Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Chef Rick Mousy. I've got a whole chicken here that I'm going to be cutting into portion. I'm just using my sh sharp shear here just to cut through the backbone. And then I'll cut it up into smaller portions. So I'm going to be cutting along the other side of the backbone and this is a easy way of cutting up your chicken if you're going to be butterflying it or if you're going to cut it into pieces it's just an easier way so there I have got the backbone completely out I'm going to be using that as well because I do like my bone cutting down right in the chest bone there and then making sure that I'm going to separate that into and that will make it much easier for me to cut it into smaller pieces Before I cut it into pieces, I'm going to keep my skin on, which means I'm going to have to remove all the impurities that I do not want on mine. And those yellow bits there is bits that it's pretty easy to come off if you just use your knife to scrape it and then peel it off. Also, I'm going to be checking for any feather that has been left behind that I definitely don't want on my chicken. Just using my shear there to cut away any excess fatty bit. This shear works so handy, guys. So good. Sharp and it's it's not expensive. But for this, I paid three pounds for my shear. So yes. Okay, so I'm just scraping away any excess skin there on the skin. Any bits impurities just making sure that I completely remove that then I'm gonna start cutting it into smaller pieces So now that I've cleaned up my chicken, I'm just going in with half of a lemon and half of lime as well. And I'm also going to be pouring some vinegar on that and let it sit in there for about two to three minutes. And then I'll wash it with cold water. Just rinse it with some cold water. lovely and then I'll just massage that in and as I said leave it for about two to three minutes and then wash it under nice cold water lovely so it's nice and washed I'm going in with my green seasoning you can find that on my channel I'm going to also be adding some chicken seasoning to that as well and I'm using a whole chicken so about a tablespoon of each seasoning will suffice some dried parsley and of course my jerk season and I'm using the Duns River brand today it's one of my favorite brands to use yes so it's finished so I'm just making sure that everything is completely out of that bottle I'm also going in with some pimento seed I'm gonna be crushing those again you don't have to crush it if you don't want to. you can leave them whole but I like to crush my pimento berries seeds whatever it is that you call it it is the same thing allspice as well that's another name for it and i'm just gonna add that to my chicken and then i'll just massage all that in and leave it to marinate for one hour if you've got 
more than that you can do it for overnight even better if it's overnight but i haven't got a lot of time today so an hour is the time that i'll be leaving it to marinate for so you want to make sure you rub that seasoning everywhere yes completely rub it get it under the skin fabulous Okay, I'm just going in now with my knife just to pierce some holes in my chicken just to so it easier all the seasoning that has been sat in will just absorb it will just absorb all that seasoning much easier. So that's just something that I do. Again, you don't have to do it, it's just something that I do. I like to pierce my chicken. It helps the cooking process as well as allow the seasoning to marinate in it. So that's beautiful. Now I'm just going to wrap my container with some cling film and allow it to marinate for, as I said, one hour. Okay, so it's been just over an hour, guys. I've got my clean container here that I'm going to be adding my chicken. My oven has been preheated to 210 degrees, and this is gonna be going in for altogether one hour and 20 minutes, making sure that I base it every 20 minutes to keep the moisture in my chicken. I do not like a dry chicken, okay? Not even my jerk, I don't like it dried out. So I always like to constantly base it with the juice that it creates. It just makes it so moist with that. Even though it's done in the oven, I tell you that jerk flavor will be there most definitely. So I'm just adding all my chicken pieces now to my tray. And then as I said, my oven has already been preheated at 210 degrees. And that will be going in for one hour and 20 minutes altogether. And the smell that is coming from this chicken is just amazing. That's what happens when you allow your meat, your fish, your poultry, whatever it is, to marinate because it just gives it that extra flavor. Great, and so I'm just gonna go in now with all that. Yes, all that is going onto my chicken. Nothing goes to waste. Absolutely nothing, especially not that. Lovely. And now into the oven, it'll go. Super. So that's the first 20 minutes guys and the color is starting to get really lovely look at that so again just basing the chicken with the juices that it has created fantastic and back in the oven again yes base that chicken keep that moisture in completely
Okay, that's in the oven. Now I'm just gonna be making the spread for my hard dog garlic bread. I've got some soft butter there. I've got some grated garlic and I'm just gonna be adding that to my butter. I've also chopped some fresh parsley that I'll be using today. Lovely. And again, I use my shear to cut this. Just pretty easy. You can use your knife on a cutting board. It's completely up to you. But I, yeah, I use my shear between my finger and my thumb then. Don't, yeah, do as I say. Please don't do as I do. <laughs> Super. Mix that in nicely. And then we're going to use that later for our spread. Just pop that to the side. Let all the herbs marinate with that garlic and the butter. And look at that. Absolutely ready for that hard old bread. Okay, so this is my third base. Yes, guys. And look at the color coming through there. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh, guys, it smells absolutely amazing amazing yes keep using that juice and if you haven't got a base the guys just use a spoon yeah just use a spoon you just want to make sure that the juice is applied to the chicken that's all you want just keep pouring it on the top whichever method you want to use whatever apparatus you want to use to apply it completely up to you but just make sure that you keep basing your chicken yes guys look at that Okay, that's another 20 minutes of basting. And I think it's still not the color that I want it. So I'm going to put it back and baste it again and put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. So it's up to you. Whatever color, if you want it really, really dark, it's up to you if you want it not on the too darker side. Because everyone likes their thing, their food differently. So it's up to you how you want it. But it's not the color that I want it yet. So I'm going to put it back for a final 20 minutes. Look at that, guys. Ooh, absolutely amazing. Okay, so whilst I go back in the oven for the final 20 minutes, it's the perfect time now for me to start my garlic bread. And I've got some sliced hard dough bread here that I've bought from my local bakery, freshly baked today. You, if you don't have freshly baked bread, that's still fine. But yes, I'm lucky enough to have a bakery quite close to me. So, and they bake their bread fresh every day so i've got the sliced ones and i'm just going to add that spread that we made earlier yes to my sliced hard dough bread yes and spread it on pop it in that hot oven for 20 minutes guys and whoo i'm telling you this smells so good the garlic i do love garlic but i love when it's grated rather than chopped and that's just my preference so yes, so let's spread that garlic, butter, parsley, spread all over. And then we're gonna pop that in the oven for 20 minutes. Oh guys, that smells so good. Yes, yeah, so that's ready for the oven. And in the oven, it'll go, as I said, for 20 minutes. Okay, and now that is the color of my jerk chicken. So that's ready guys look at that thank you guys so much for watching yes look at that my garlic bread my jerk chicken is all ready thanks guys for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll be sure to see you in my next video you've been fantastic thank you thank you thank you have a blessed day goodbye guys